today's video is regarding HP NY6055 all in one printer. I'm going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and setup and start using this wireless printer. So it's easy to connect with your home or office Wi Fi network. And this ink printer uses ink 67 number. And you can connect this printer using the HP Smart app. So I'll show you all the steps in this video. Let's start with the unboxing. Now the first step is to load the paper tray. Paper tray is at the bottom of this printer and here is the size adjuster tray. Adjust the size. Insert the A4 size sheets and close it. Next step is to install the ink cartridges and once we see this pink light that means our printer is ready for the connection as well. Now to load the ink cartridges simply we have to take the ink cartridges out of the plastic packaging and the ink cartridge chamber is here so you just have to hold the printer from both sides and just lift it it will open the ink cartridge chamber and here we can see the ink cartridge chambers are available now wait for the chamber to come here once it is here open the flap install the ink cartridges one by one so color will go to the color side and you just have to lock it and the black will go to the black side and just lock it once it is done now we close the ink cartridge chamber just press it little bit down it will close itself and the next step is to go to your device for example I have iPhone here and we need to open the HP smart app and you can also download this from the app store once you open the HP smart app on the top you will get plus button so click on that and on the next screen it displays the name of the printer HP NY6000 series and just click on it so that it can start the setup and click yes because it's going to automatically connect with your Wi-Fi now it's it will display the name of the network it's going to connect so make sure it is the right one or you can select other network if you want and click on the next button once it is done you will see the blue light on the screen of your printer that is also stable and here we can see the setup is complete click on the done button and here it says press the flashing information button on the printer screen so go to the control panel now go to the control panel and click on the information button once and again go to your app here on the next screen we have to just click on the continue here you can uh, create a HP account if you want or if you don't want it you can just skip the account activation so click on that once you click that it will ask for the confirmation click it again so here is the final confirmation it says the setup is complete let's print so you can skip this printing page if you want or you can do the printing as well on the next page if you want you can send a link to other devices or skip this step and just confirm that here we see it says setup is complete so your printer is now connected to the Wi-Fi network click on the all done button and on the top of the screen you will see the name of the printer that is HP NY6000 series also we have option for the wireless printing scanning for example I'm going to show you how to do the scan so here is the printer scan button so click on that now open the printer's top scanner lid and place the page facing downwards so it will go downwards like this facing on this corner close the lid go to the device and click on the blue icon as we can see on the screen here so once the scanning is finished you will see the scan has arrived here 
and if you want you can click on the save button or you can share this as well so once you click that on the next page you get option to change the name of the file and the format and the size of the file so click share again and it will give you the options so scroll up and click save to HP smart app so your file will be saved there and if you want to access the file you simply have to go back go to the home screen and look for the view and print option here and on the top you see HP smart files and the recent file is here so on the top click on that and here we can see this file is available so this way we can connect this printer for the wireless printing and scanning overall I can say it's very easy to connect this printer with the home or office Wi-Fi network it's really good for the students or simple home use or a small business you can just simply connect and then you can do the wireless printing scanning and it's easy to install the ink cartridges in this printer you just have to lift the ink cartridge chamber door and do it thanks for watching